Imagine yourself in 10 years. Do you know where you want to be? Maybe you can even see your typical day. Yes, until then a lot will happen. You will have to go through many trials and it will definitely not be an easy path. I even assume that it's not easy for you right now, at least because you are already taking targeted steps towards achieving your goals. If so, keep going. But if today your thoughts haven't yet developed into actions, I think it's important for you to understand that it's better to move slowly but still move than just stay without the action. I believe you understand what I'm talking about and I suggest doing a little practice. Try to think about where you'll be in those very 10 years if today you'll do everything in your power to achieve success. Perhaps after that you'll even raise your bar because 100% of our current expectations is often far from the limit. It happens that you need to set even bolder goals and basically grow faster. Now think about where you'll be in 10 years if you don't put any efforts into achieving your wildest dreams. Many people live like this. They just want a lot but don't take targeted actions and then they are surprised claiming that life is unfair. They start drinking alcohol, leading an idle lifestyle and this either becomes the cause of their inaction or its consequences. I will repeat again. It's better to move slowly but move than to stand still. Never let yourself waste even one single day because your days are limited. Many people focus on the speed of movement and this mainly concerns young people who are at the very beginning of their journey. They want everything as quickly as possible. But remember that high speed always creates two things, opportunities and dangers. And if you don't know the limits, at one point you can very much regret it. I believe that between constant, consistent and controlled movement towards your goals on the one hand and just speed on another one, you should almost always choose the first. Think about why Warren Buffett is one of the richest people in the world. Because he has principles that he follows for decades. He controls his emotions, uses compound interest and takes steps towards his goals. Buffett has said many times that you should only invest in what you understand, plus concentrate your investments in strong assets. If you are familiar with the basic principles of economics, you understand that the larger the asset, the more difficult it is to increase the value by conventional 1%. However, sometimes it's worth focusing not on speed but on reliability and then any limit will be broken. This is what Warren Buffett teaches us from his own experience. Of course, there are situations when speed is paramount, but usually such moments pose the greatest danger because often in them you are inclined to take rush emotional decisions. I believe that if you are not at the very start of your journey, it's better to avoid such situations. Another thing is that it, it's not always possible to do this, let's be honest. There is nothing critical about this, but in my opinion you should learn how to behave in both cases. This will come with an experience and perhaps I'll cover this topic in my next videos. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode and my previous videos as well. So follow my channel, give me a like, give me a dislike as you prefer. If it was useful, this video I mean, give me a like of course and write the comment below. If it wasn't, give me a dislike and uh, I don't know, write any other comment below. So um, it would be amazing if you take any action. Follow my channel and see you in a day after tomorrow. And also check my other styled videos that I just started to upload on my YouTube channel as well. I hope you'll find them amazing as well. Thank you very much.